name is Angelita Hampton, me llamo Angelita, and um, I'm an artist uh, born and raised here in Indianapolis. So I mostly paint um, and collage images of women of color, and this show in particular is all Frida, um, so it's called Frida by Colors, and I really wanted to showcase all the many ways that um, Frida Kahlo can be um, highlighted through different styles and mediums. So I lived in Mexico for four months when I was in college and I'm finding now that I'm working as a professional artist many years later that I was really influenced by my time in Mexico. Frida was a socialist and a revolutionary, really outspoken, and I am really inspired by that. I do a lot of work in social justice in my painting and my writing. And um, and then she's a portrait artist. She did mostly portraits of herself, and I do mostly portraits. And every time I see another image of her, I just want to create a new Frida Kahlo. So I do printmaking and collage work. Um, this piece is in ink spray. I have started working in some 3D dimensional um, collage and assemblage. So I've never met a medium that I didn't like. So I really focus on experience and experimentation. So I don't normally have an image in mind when I start working. I go with the flow and feel the process and read things into the work as I'm looking at it. So I like to be a participant and an observer. And so it's a real collaboration between me and the, um, the things that I'm using to create my art. Yeah. Um, so this little piece is actually one of my favorites. I uh, used uh, ink spray for the background. And then this is a piece of transparency that I used for her figure. I do a lot of printmaking and I use the transparencies to transfer the images from mono prints. This one, I um, drew the image and thought about making a print out of it, but instead I used alcohol ink to color it in. So you can see there's a reflection and some shimmer against the matte background. And this is a picture of Frida Kahlo when she was really young and she's holding a revolver. So she's got that revolutionary spirit. And um, so that's one of my favorite pieces. And I use ink spray a lot. So I've used it in the background here and then made a print of her face. In, if I'm not painting faces, I'm painting flowers. Those are kind of the, my two favorite things. And this piece um, was also made as a print. So I used a large piece of transparency and transferred the image. This came originally from a really detailed pencil drawing. And then um, I like to have layers to my work and see things morph into other things. So the same image, um, the transparency that I used for this, I projected it um, and did a, a large outline of it on this piece and then painted that with watercolor and acrylic. So you can see it's the same image, but things look really different um, depending on what style and medium you use. And then this piece um, has another complimentary piece in the gallery, so I made a print um, of this with a large piece of transparency and then went back in and did some highlights and shadowing as I will sometimes do. This one was really fun because I used the bottom of um, a jar to do everything in circles. So everything is done in circles. You can see with her flowers and her hair um, and then the accents. So, um, and sometimes I like to leave the background showing through an image and then sometimes I do overpainting, but you can still see some of the blue peeking through. I like to imagine my art much like the work in Mexico, seeing murals on the walls and having that sort of worn and weathered look and the feeling of um, you know an image really kind of emerging from the canvas. And then this last piece, um, I did several pieces like this where I was practicing um, using different colors for the face. So before my style emerged, having the colorful backgrounds um, showing through the faces, I started by practicing a little piece like this. And that's, these are some of my favorite pieces. And again, lots of color and um, yeah, it was just really exciting to be able to show all these mini faces of Frida. 
Uh, yeah, it's great. I love the Indie Liberation Center. Um, Eduardo Luna is the one that asked me to um, participate in the show. Um, he's part of um, Market Mexicano in Indiana. And it's been a dream come true to be able to showcase all of my Frida Kahlo works. And it's been a great reception and everyone's just been really wonderful.